Hey guys, my name is Nadine, and today I will be giving you some sports slash action photography tips. Okay, so what I want to talk about first is what camera settings do you use when shooting sports or action photos? So this setting right here is called the shutter speed priority setting, and on the camera it appears as an S or as TV. So because sports are usually fast paced and there's a lot of fast movement, when you take a picture, sometimes blur can occur. So by using the shutter speed priority setting, you can eliminate this blur and focus on a specific movement. So this chart right here shows what happens when you change the shutter speed. So the smaller the fraction gets here, the faster the shutter speed is. And the bigger the fraction gets, the slower the shutter speed is. So with the faster shutter speed, you're able to freeze actions, and with the slower shutter speed, you get more movement, so that means you get blur. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what the shutter speed setting looks like on a camera. So here the camera is set at S, and in order to change the shutter speed, you move this dial right here. And if you move the dial to the right, you increase the shutter speed, and if you move it to the left, you decrease the shutter speed. So the next camera setting that I want to talk about is the sports mode setting. So on the camera it appears as this little running man and basically the sports mode is just an automatic camera setting so the camera fixes the shutter speed for you, it fixes the aperture and all that good stuff. It's a really convenient camera setting to use when shooting sports or action photos. Okay, here are some helpful tips for shooting sports and action photos. Here's tip number one. When shooting photos for a sporting event, adjust the camera settings and take practice shots while the team is warming up. This will prevent you from fidgeting with the camera settings during the game and you won't miss any great photo opportunities. Here's tip number two. When shooting for sporting events, use the continuous shot mode on the camera. This will allow you to get a full range. So here's tip number three. When going to shoot for sporting events, make sure that the SD card is almost empty or has enough room for you to take a lot of photos. I've gone to sporting events where I didn't check the SD card and it didn't have enough room for me to take a lot of pictures, so I wasn't able to take as many as I'd like and it sucked. I missed a lot of great photo opportunities. And here's the last tip. When shooting photos for indoor sports, increase the ISO setting. For sports like basketball or volleyball, the gyms have fluorescent lights and therefore when you take photos, they usually come out darker. Increasing the ISO setting will prevent that from happening and will keep the pictures looking at a normal light level. Change of movement. So in order to change the ISO settings, you go to menu and you click on this right here and then you click on that and you change the ISO settings to whatever you want depending on whether you're shooting indoor sports or outdoor sports.